All right, guys, I want you to listen to uh, the former EFCC uh, boss, uh, Mago, who was suspended by Mr. President at this particular time, speaking so few months ago on corruption. Because the, the corruption barracks was, uh, was a creation by a corrupt mind. Somebody actually created corruption barracks. I mean, um, uh, coronavirus. Somebody deliberately sat down in the, in the lab and came up with the, with the creation of the coronavirus and with the these are many other things i'll be talking about in this video just before i jump right in i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon if you are yet to subscribe to this youtube channel but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media <music> It is no news that Mago, the EFCC boss, was arrested by the DSS and right now is facing a lot of uh, criminal allegation or financial fraud allegation. That is something that uh, is coming to us at this particular time. And a lot of people are just surprised about that. Why some people are not surprised saying that the Tokamo, people like Dino Milai and, uh, you know, Bukola Saraki. And this guy happens to actually... Um, hunt down these people calling them criminals but right now he is actually facing criminal allegation and that is something serious because a lot of people are now making mockery of this and calling Mago out on several occasions and that is something that we all need to actually understand when you are you know going to equity go with clean hands that is the case of Mago. Mago was indicted by a memo submitted by the attorney the general of the federation to uh, the presidency and then calling out Magu on different misappropriation of funds and the rest but right now Magu has been you know is being under investigation detained and being investigated question interrogated but it looks like Magu is making some kind of statement already calling in a lot of people actually indicted the attorney general of the federation himself and that is something serious you know why because recently um the attorney general of uh, the federation's son had a wedding a lavish wedding i just want you to see the video <laughs> This particular wedding was heavily criticized by a lot of Nigerians and then they said that okay even this period of uh, the lockdown and those things these guys are not um, you know observing social distancing and the rest they had a lavish uh, wedding party where they actually threw tons of money on the couples and that is something serious you know why it's serious because Magu is actually singing names already at this particular time a lot of um, you know um, things has been linked to Magu's account and Magu's uh, you know investment but Magu uh, happens not to be um, actually going down alone that is why he is actually mentioning names at this particular time Magu who is being investigated has actually called out a lot of people especially this person Malami on a several occasion and saying that Malami has a lot to answer also if you are indicting me because they happens to be in the same committee that uh, you know in charge of a recovery fund and what a lot of people are saying is that uh, the recovered loot is being relooted and that is something damaging to our country because the whole world is watching us from a distance and i think this actually tells a lot of um, you know the the inappropriation or the strength of our agencies or our anti-corruption agencies in nigeria if the man uh, the chairman of uh, the efcc economic and financial crime commission is facing this kind of huge financial scandal man i think uh, a lot of sanitization needs to be done in nigeria and a lot of people 
are watching especially the young ones in nigeria and a lot of people are accusing the efcc of going after the small yahoo boys why uh, leaving out the big uh, elephant um, yahoo men <laughs> that is something that i'm just talking about but uh you have to understand that this is being trending on social media that is why i'm talking about it and it's been affecting a lot of people out there when you interact with them they will tell you that men we don't believe in nigerian democratic system again we don't believe in nigerian institutions again these are the reasons why they don't actually believe in the nigerian institution because of this kind of financial issues because of this kind of corruption charges and uh, all the rest making around on social media as magu is being detained by the police and the police has not actually granted magu uh, bail or any bail condition i don't know why they are still keeping this guy to answer some kind of uh, interrogative questions malami the attorney general of the federation has been indicted by a lot of reports making around on social media first his uh, son's uh, marriage that they lavish a lot of money on and was actually captured in videos making around on social media and then the second one is that uh, he gifted his son multi-million naira mansion after the um you know wedding celebration and that a lot of people are criticizing at this particular time and i think is something that we all need to actually look at because a lot of people are not ready to um, you know leave out this and then they are calling out malami and calling on the uh, government to actually look into this and be bring anybody that is guilty of this kind of financial allegations scam allegation to book and a lot of people have been talking about hush puppy but we have them in our political system that is what a lot of people are now talking about on social media let me just give you the video of dino melai <laughs> I talk, um, I talk, um, I talk, um, I talk, um, me, I talk about Magu, Buhari, no green listing. Now Buhari don't see for himself. Oh. It was also reported that Malami, uh, the Attorney General of the Federation, uh, used his uh, official letterhead paper to invite guests to his son's wedding and which a lot of people are trying to you know just oppose against um, the constitution of this country and i think the rate of impunity is something serious in this country and we all need to actually condemn it together but a lot of people are not you know serious with this but this is a bit serious because it's a bit implicating and has implicated our judicial system not only our judicial system and our you know um, anti-corruption agencies in nigeria and label it to be compromised to the outside world and a lot of the people are watching um, nigeria from a distance seeing all these type of things happen in nigeria and then we are busy condemning cheap criminals that is what a lot of people are now saying on social media because i actually heard what she were and uh, reno mokri Actually said about hush puppy that the case of hush puppy is small compared to the kind of looting in this particular government and i know that uh, a lot of people will support i know a lot of people will still you know opposed to that but i don't know how serious it is but what i need to actually say is that we should do well and try to actually build a, a, a forceful and a strengthened uh, institution um, in this country to actually gain back our reputation especially outside the country most people outside the country they are suffering um, you know reputation damage from this country this is uh, in relation to the activities of our politicians of the people public um, you know office holders in Nigeria and those kind of men this is in relation to them because all these people are being looked at and they see their kind of excessive and a lot of people just frown at that and then take it upon Nigeria to condemn us all together and i think that 
should be uh, you know uh, discouraged at this particular time just before i jump off i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon if you are yet to subscribe to this youtube channel but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media